All right, so this raid, we're going to conduct sniper operations offensively and seek out people to kill, if possible, while also be being safe. So here is an interesting place that we started. This is a challenge, but I'll show you guys a cheeky peek that you can do from this location to kill the guy off the spawn. And one place that you can rotate to to try to get a secure footing. This doesn't always work out, depending on where people spawn, because the guy could spawn very close to here, but YOLO. And if you make it here fast enough, there's a chance that there's a man running from Scavlands Tower right now somewhere. Either left, right, or straight. Sometimes what people do is they'll wait in the Scavlands area, which is a really good plan. Because uh, if you don't, you run into me. But we're not going to wait too long. And I do kill people quite often with this peak. Oh, there he is. You little bastard. Well, I'll leave him. He's just a hatchet runner. Who cares? Just start looting. It's not like he can push me. So. Probably. Mm -hmm. I would be surprised. So when I get here, I like to just hit the two key rooms. And then what we're going to do is we're going to counter rotate on his rotation over to the sniper tower. Because obviously he started there, he's not going back there. So we're going to want to do that within the next minute even. So that we don't fuck up this rotation. Very good. Shoot at me, I'll fucking kill you. Keep the APC to our back to minimize his line of sight. Move now while people are shooting. It gives us the most chance of being uncontested. Use the container as cover. Use this as cover to the right. And get your ass inside as quick as possible. Now once you get inside, check upstairs. People hide up here all the time. And it's clear. And now what I like to do is I like to check the tower or around here. You can snipe through this netting, you can snipe through here. But you're never usually going to see anybody. The main reason that we came here is for this. You can do a lot of stuff through this here hole. I kill people all the time. Because if you angle yourself just right, you can see the entire top of the Hermetic Bunker in the front of the train station where most people hang out at scab bosses over there. So even if there's raiders or someone hits the Hermetic Bunker, especially then, people will hang out around there and you can snipe them. Sniping into this hole is incredibly difficult. And you gotta make sure that your barrel is clear of the wood and the sandbags or you will shoot the wood. But what I like to do, I like to arch up a little bit and I like to lean a little bit and then I just make sure that my barrel is clear. And as long as your barrel is above it, it's fine. Oh, here, speak of the devil. Hey, shoot a born in heaven. Okay, cool, so he, he's dead now. And uh, because he's dead, I'm gonna take this chance to rotate to another tower because we've cleared that spawn direction, potentially. There's a man there. He's still there? He's still there. Jump. Oh, that's a scab. The scab hunted him down. Anyways, we do not want to hang out there like that. That was even risky taking that shot, so. We're gonna get up in another tower, and we're gonna use the tower to conduct observation on the dead body. Now, now that we have a dead body there, there's actually two things we can do with it. We can, uh, and remember, every time you run to a tower, you want to hide. So, there's two options. Three, I guess. We could loot him. He didn't look very geared. Or, we can look for his teammates for a while and then go loot him and stuff. Or, we can use his dead body as baits to kill more scab players. Most scab players rotate to where he was. Oop. I heard someone. Alright, when you hear someone, you start sussing it out. Go as slow as possible, as carefully, because they will hear you in the tower. But this tower is pretty hard to push. It's pretty hard to push the tower. This is another cheeky angle that you guys can use. And if you don't like that one, I like to come back here. And you can use this. Pretty much the same as the other tower. 
this is also a good place to camp heating pipe extract for the scavs. And another angle I like to use is this one, which is good if people are fighting the scab boss over there. I don't know if the scab boss can see you from there these days, but anybody rotating down the K ramps and stuff is going to die to you from this spot. Uh, this is probably the spot where I see the most scavs rotating. And you'll probably get a lot of kills here if you stay long enough. But I'm going to keep doing my little rotation thingy. Alright, so I always met up inside. Let's see, we should check dome. We probably should have checked it earlier. Oh, there's a man up there. Nice. Got him. Don't know why he stood there like that. Not recommended. Alrighty, so dome's clear and we just shot a bunch, so let's take this time to get the hell out of here. We're gonna want to rotate in case he somehow knows of our last position. Always risky running across this wall, but some risks you just gotta take. Get our stand back in here. Our back is probably clear, and if it isn't, it's got some good cover. So not too bad. <clears throat> Alrighty. Good thing we killed that dome guy and checked before we uh, try to loot this body, eh? Could have been bad. Dome can see the top of here pretty good. So now that we're down here, let's see if I can actually show you guys how to do what I wanted to show you guys how to do last time. How to tell if there's people down here or not. Make sure we got our painkillers on first. And the first thing we're going to want to find is scavs. When you run down that ramp, people can hear you run down. So get ready to be ambushed. I don't see any scavs. Which is bad, but I'm going to try to peek the cage again and see if the boxes are looted or anything. Okay, good. So scavs down here means that people are not really down here. Because scavs will hunt your ass down in the cages here when you're down here. They bother the hell out of you. So a clear indicator of nobody. Now how I like to push this is I like to push when I'm alone in the middle. If you're with the team, I'd recommend the left and right parallel push at the same time. The box is open. Did someone get down here already? We'll check it out, because it might have been the guy that we killed. What was he shooting at? Alright, so he didn't have all the keys. That's okay, but now we gotta clear the box. We gotta clear the insides very carefully. We'll come over here first. Shooting through these cages is not good. But it can work, especially when you have super high pen rounds like M993. This man is a very, very sneaky man to not aggravate the scavs. As you can see, they're quite annoying. Mm, quite annoying. Thank you. Okay. Another cool tip about these cages that I was going to pull on him is you can actually throw grenades over the top of the cages. Well, let me grab his dog tag real quick, and then we are going to do a perimeter check for his teammates. So we're gonna to wanna to use the middle as cover because going out of any of the doorways of the cages is not advised, I just seen him. Oh, that's the scab. I'm gonna save my good ammo. Lay down your weapons and give up!
Okay, he was not having it. That man was determined to live. Gotta respect it. Curiosity killed the scabs, you know what I'm saying? Just always want to make sure to check around. When I check this door, I usually do jump peaks and stuff. Because some people will hold an angle down, um, down the street from it or whatever. By a box. But looks like the area is secure, so now we're going to loot up. I think someone's left. I think he's searching the scab body. Well, I should have my gun ready. This might not be a scab. What am I hearing? If you ever hear anyone sneaking up on you, it's incredibly important to make sure that they're not actually doing that. So I'm going to recheck these side doors. Another good thing I should have done is check if all these doors were locked or not, but they are. Whenever you're down here, you want to try to get in and out of here as quick as possible. Which we have not done very well so far. I keep hearing the weirdest stuff, guys. I'm not kidding. <laughs> the audio down here has been a little bit weird lately. So because we've killed three players, well, two, and that guy that guy shot first probably died. Uh, it's a really good thing for us down here because the chances of us being run up on is reduced. Now, that sound that you may have heard, I'm not sure you can even hear that uh, on the video, but someone just turned on D2. 
so they're leaving as well so let's see 25 minutes and like i said mostly 25 to 20 minutes is when people start to leave like i said so there's a good example of that if you ever hear a mechanical sound similar to interchanges power turning on that's the sound of the d2x track being activated do certain cages have themes like a food cage or a med cage that's right they sure do some of the stuff that's not as good I'm not sure what price hoses are right now. All these things I'm picking up though are a minimum of 10,000 rubles stuff, so many, many of them are worth at least double that. Another thing I like to do down here is shut both side doors. That gives you time to get audio cues and forces someone to open a door before they can get information by looking through them as they run up through the tunnels on you. Would recommend. At this point, it would be smart to leave, but I'm a little greedy Luke Goblin, so we're gonna pack all the crates here. Just a scab. Oh, and that's our dinner bell out of here. So one thing by playing slow like this that you can do is you can wait for the scavs to power on the extract for you like they have here. So. When this happens, you have four minutes from the start of the activation of the button to leave. So we have until 1800 to get the hell out of here. So we have a little bit of time. Since I'm full of loot though, I'm gonna make the smart decision. I'm just gonna push to extract instead of looting the last cage. But here's an example of the loot that you can get just from these three cages during your sniper operations if you're the one to loot them. Now, of course, that guy was looting him, so that could have that could have been annoying, but we got it instead, so it is what it is. There's the safe way, and then there's the risky way, and this is the risky way, you know what I'm saying? To get over here easier, I like to hop onto this. Your biggest danger is going to come behind you, so I keep my eyes back. Come here, get some cover here, rotate, check behind me. Check these doors, you can be closing this door. People hide in there, make sure no one's hiding in there. Rotate here, hide behind the tires and then don't move a fucking inch because you can throw grenades back here over this fence and if they do that, you're dead. Some people pre-nade this anyways, but typically just moving here and don't moving at all works fine. I should have shot that first guy with a red dot instead of trying to get a nice little sniper scopes kill on him. Oh well. He didn't really need to die anyways. Poor guy's just hatch running. Probably for the best. Okay. Oh yeah, there was that guy at the dome and there was another guy somewhere, I guess. But hey, whatever. I got the loot and you can't sell PMC loot, so who cares? But that's how you snipe on reserve, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.